So now guys, I'm going to tell you about five ways of using the present continuous, all right? So look at the board. So the first way is happening now. And the example, she is walking down now. So everything that is happening now, everything that is happening at present, okay? So let's draw the line. Let's draw the graph. So here is now, yeah? And she is moving down. It means like she is eating very quickly now, all right? So the action is taking place right now, okay? Now, now. So, let's take an exa another example. It is raining heavily. It is raining heavily. So, right now, right now, the action is taking place. All right? Let's move on to another way of using the present continuous. It's a temporary action. So, temporary action is something that is happening at a particular period of time. I am working in Chicago this month. So you can contract this formula. I am, you can write down like I apostrophe and am. So I am, yeah? I am working in Chicago this month. So let's draw the line. Let's draw the line. Here is a now. And um, uh, let's say like this month, yes, not now, but this month. Let's write this month. So everything that is taking place this month. So here is now, here is the, this month, okay? So we are interested in this period of time. So I work in Chicago this month. The other example, he is living in Paris this year. So, for example, instead of this month, we already have this year. So everything that is taking place this year. Okay, this is a temporary action. All right, so let's move on to another um, uh, way of using the present continuous. It's a fixed plan. We have some fixed plans. We know about these plans, but these plans are in the near future. Near future, all right? So we are meeting Mr. Mark after the class. I guess no one wants to meet me after the class, all right, guys? Yeah? Okay, we are mis meeting Mr. Mark. So this action is taking place in the future. So now and it's going to be in the future. So in the future, in the near future, we are going to meet Mr. Mark. And in the other example, they are doing yoga today. All right? They today, yeah? Is it the near future? Uh-huh. Near future, yoga, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, got it? All right. So that's all about these rules. So guys, some two other ways of using the present continuous. Look at the board. A longer actions in progress now. For example, we are studying English to get rich. So let's let's uh, draw the line. Let's draw the graph. Okay? Here is the graph. And we are doing what now? We are studying English. Okay? Now we are studying English. In order to get rich, here we are, and to, the purpose of us, the purpose to study English is to get rich, right? Right. So here is, we are going to get rich. All right? So there must be a purpose here. In another example, Jack is taking this course for an exam. So, to take an exam, to pass an exam, right? So, this is the purpose for him, to pass an exam, or just for an exam. If you use the verb, so here is two. But if you use a noun, we have to put four, all right? Four. All right, so the, the last 
rule is trends. Trends. You know, guys, what the trend is. Like, yes, trend. Yeah, you know. Are you fun of fashion, guys? I hope so. Okay, so more and more people are buying iPhones to look cool. Do you have an iPhone? No, so you are not cool. All right. So if you have an iPhone, you are cool. So it's a trend. So now let's draw the line and here is a trend. So it's a now, now and in this particular period of time, more and more people are buying iPhones. So probably each, each, this number will grow. I don't know. This is a trend. So the trends can change. All right. So and another example, more and more students are using crypt notes to pass exams. You know what the crypt note is? The crypt note is something that you put like in the jacket to cheat in your exam, right? Did you use the crypt notes? Yeah, I know that you used. Okay. So, but you have to remember an important detail. Don't use the present continuous with the stative verbs. So the stative verbs are the verbs that we can't use in the present continuous, all right? Okay, so here, now continuous. For example, he understands this rule. Yeah, I know that there is somebody who understands this rule, right? So he understands this rule. So the verb understand, we can't put in the continuous. We can't say like, he is understanding. No, 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 no. He understands this rule. Okay, and in the other example, we have, we like English, we like uh, Mr. Mark very much. All right, it's true that you are supposed to like Mr. Mark. And we all, like the whole humanity likes Mr. Mark. All right, so uh, what do we have now? So you have to remember about the stative verbs and you will have the link below on the stative verbs and uh, in this table, you will find the, uh, some wor verbs such as uh, forgive, forget, remember, like, love, the words of sense perception, like hear, smell, uh, taste, and all these verbs are not used in the present continuous, all right? So, guys, uh, let's wrap up and uh, I'll give you your homework. So, your homework is to make up five sentences with the, according to the five ways of using the present continuous all right so share this video with your friends and followers subscribe to this channel like the video and don't forget to press the bell button okay bye